Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Wards and Wardens. Look at Valakia, it's growing. Today we're going to try and grow it a little bit more too. Uh, but first, we need to build some buildings. In Arkies, I think it is, we just recently built a castle. Now, I do want more taxes. However, what I also want is something for my pikemen. What do I need for that? I think I've already scrolled past it. So this is archers and skirmishers. This is heavy infantry and spearmen. Oh, so it would just be a barracks again. Okay. And that's also reducing cost for hosting grand tournament here in this specific holding. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a barracks built. We can get some tax generating buildings after that because we're already earning 5.7 gold. Where we're not really in any problems there. We've got a replenished army as well. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and declare more wars. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on here. Actually, first, yeah, I don't have any prisoners. Okay, <laughs> we're free to declare war, right? Uh, we have Philippopolis. What about Croatia? Ducal Conquest of County Vol. Damn it, I thought it would be a little bit more. In fact, he's very strong as well. So we're probably not going to be looking at that. We could go for Galicia on the Chieftain of Bells. That's up here. Nah, I don't want to go north. I want to go south. The Salamid Emirate, forced vassalization. That's also... Where is this? Italy. Do we want to branch into Italy? The thing is, we are we are becoming a mess, aren't we? We're, we're splitting up our territory. If we do go over there, hmm, I, I'm not so sure that's the move right now. We've got Ceramia. That's up north somewhere, I think. No? Prince Ivan has a claim. Ah, it's over there. Okay, we could do this one. <laughs> Welcome back, where we look through all of our war declarations for the episode. Uh, Strimon, though I don't think that's a good one. I think it might just be Philip Popovilis, this one. Forced vassalization. We could go north and gobble up Kidar. Why not? You guys have been begging me to go north into this area. We could do this. 500 prestige, 10,000 manpower, though. That's something that scares me just a little bit. Uh, down here in the Byzantine Empire. We could do that as well. Or we could just go ahead and start fabricating claims. There is that approach too. Yeah, this is up north. I think Philippopolis is the, the only one we can really claim. Down here maybe. And then we got to start fabricating some claims. I, I don't want to be going north. I want to be going south. So that's 750 prestige. That's also 750 prestige. So let's just do Ducal um, Conquest because at least then I can pick who controls it. Right, 750 prestige just to go for this little tiny here. Right, <laughs> at least it should be a quick war. At least that's what I'm hoping. Do we have any high supply areas? 3,300. We got 3,100. 3,200. I don't think we can raise here. So let's just go ahead and move one of our banners over here. And the, the men at arms should be enough. So let's raise the men at arms. And then we're also going to raise all. Uh, and very quickly pause this so we don't have too many. With my Ducal Conquest War now sell in motion the fate of my hostage. Oh crap, we have hostages. I will kill her. <laughs> nah, she's safe. I'm not a complete asshole. I'm going to spare her because she has done nothing wrong. Um, so I, I will spare her. Right, let's stop this uh, uh, raising you fellas. And then we got our, our siege equipment. We know the drill by now. And then we connect these guys. Uh, and then we need a military engineer. Look at that. It's almost like uh, I almost know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and move the armies over here. And then we can defend against any armies that they bring to attack us. I have learned that Duke Isbel foolishly takes up arms alongside my enemy Duke Bosporius. Despite sending his granddaughter Yeldum to be my hostage. This petty Ducal Conquest war has lain bare the worth of his promises of peace, let alone his callous disregard for Yeldum. This one, I will kill. Because you have decided to raise your sword against me. I have not brought the war to you. This is your... This is you. She's gone. That's your fault, my friend. That's your fault. Greetings, my impressive liege. I've arrived in Targa Vista to pay homage to you. That's my cousin. Did you bring gold? He did. 50 gold. What a nice lad, eh? Uh, so we've killed Yeldum. That's her own fault. Holy Order has expanded. All I could also do. Hmm. What's this faction again? Serbian Orthodox Populists. Okay. Uh, you guys are married off. What I could also do is recruit a Holy Order. Yeah, let's hire them. 
I mean, I could have used them as a sieging army, to be fair. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them over here and they can join my elite army. Uh, Alliance has expired because you died. Well, why did you go ahead and do that, you silly sausage? Right, five months left on the siege. 30 days left on the siege. Everything's going swimmingly. Out in the courtyard, Epiphania and Hannah are happy at play, as all children should be. Among the usual chirps and rustling of the Lord's creation, I'm a happy louse of children, and the world seems as it should. In my moment of peace, I even hear Hannah offhandedly call Epiphania sister. How wonderful. Oh, it's beautiful how they get along. Right, Nicopolis is under siege. Is that my siege army? It is. You're going to siege of this. And then you and you are going to combine into the ultimate elite force. And, okay, they've swapped around now. The bottom one is now my, my fighting force. And you're going to go over here and destroy this army. They're ta 5,000. I think we can kill them. Let's go to 3,000. Uh, I think we can deal with this. Okay, the Battle of Pliven has begun. They actually have the advantage at the top. Okay, now we do. Only dealing 10% damage. We're not countering them as hard as they're countering us. Our bowmen are pretty much done for. Did I replenish? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, This is problematic. They're, it's going to take three months to get there. Oh, crap. Lads. Oh, no, this is terrible. I mean, we can raise a second army and they need to go in. But it's going to take 23 days to raise them all. We need reinforcement. They're not going to arrive in time. Oh, no, and now I might have just doomed these guys as well. Oh, crap. Oh, no. How bad do we do? They still had 600. I was getting way too confident. What have I done? I've doomed my man, al my men, allies captured. 1100 for 1400. I mean, we still killed more. It's just that we didn't kill enough. Ah, crap. Okay, we're going to have to call on allies. Uh, are you guys in war? You're not. I'm going to call you to this war. We need reinforcements. And what about you guys? Y you're in war. Okay, I won't bother calling you then. Um, ah, oh, it's too late to disband these guys now. They're about to get crushed. <laughs> My granddaughter was taken prisoner. Oh, no. Greetings, Despot Joshua of Alaka. Of course I should join you in this war. Okay, where are you? You're over here by the Golden Hills. So it's going to be a little bit of time before you are able to reach me, unfortunately. we still got three months left on this siege as well. Wait, they're leaving me alone? Can they not attack here? Or are they replenishing or something? I mean, my army here is back. Which is good. Let's try... Oh, no. They're still retreating. Okay. I was. I was, didn't see the arrow. Uh, I think they're coming for me now. I mean, we can try and retreat to the capital of Targa Vista. Maybe we, we will have a better chance to defend that. Let's speed things up. Okay. We've got 12 days left of the siege. And we haven't won the war. Why are we losing the war? How dare he? No one... I must rescind your appointment as Chancellor of the Byzantine Empire. We are losing this because we don't control the war targets. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed two castles. Ah, okay. Right, I'm going to take you guys. I think I'm going to take you guys back to Georgia. Never mind. Nope, they're going to die now. Oh, we might have got lucky there. No, 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 no. Go this way. Go this way, lads. We need to get out of here. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local hills for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Throw him in the dungeon. In fact, execute him. <laughs> oh, I spend piety though. Ah, because he's correct. Okay, we'll just keep him in the dungeon. That's fine. Uh, as for this, let's just go back to Georgiou with everyone. That should be fine. Same with you. Can you go back here? No, you got to go this way. Keep going this way. We're trying to run away. My spy master come to great news. We do not yet know who someone has plotted to kill me. What? 5% chance. 0% secrecy vote. Wait, the far... Did my military engineer die? It's fine. We got a new one. Um... Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's all looking good. Okay, you two are going there. Uh, we're going to regroup. Let's send this here as well. I just need to get everyone back. War declared on Leech. What's this for? 
no idea. Uh, it will be down here. A Liberty War. Okay, it's, it's nothing too extreme then. That's fine. Right, my allies have arrived as well, which is good. Okay. So, you uh, and you. No, 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 no. You and you. You're going to be combined into the fighting army. That's my sieging army. Okay, I think we're, we're ready. A grand wedding. I don't have time for a grand wedding. We, we need to go fight it. I'm going to go on four times speed as well, just because things are happening a bit fast. My spy master has come to me with grave news. He is certain that Despotiza Subslava, my own wife, is scheming against my courtier, Alexandra. <laughs> Whether true or not, I cannot accuse her. My wife, you need to stop that, though. You've been doing that a lot. Who's this? Oh, look, there's our, our vase. Oh, they look so nice close up. In the past few days, neighboring chieftain Gufrude has been visiting my court on his way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he has been outshining me with his generosity towards my own courtiers, who have all been lapping up his gold with no dignity. I cannot help but scoff when I see him surrounded by adoring courtiers for the umpteenth time. A purse for you, and some, co some coins for you. Do you know what? Better him than spending me. I, I don't care. Let him spend his gold. I I'm too busy. I'm focusing on a bloody war. We don't have time for this. Accolades lack successors. That's not good. First sword of Alakia. Okay, let's find someone for that. And then first sword of Targovista. I mean, I can't seek anyone worthy now. Oh, that's terrible. Children lack guardians as well. Let's see. You're second in line. My grandson, Aleph. What are you good at? You're intelligent. You seem to have gone intrigue. That's probably because a viewer picked that. So, Alexandru, finish off his intrigue education for me. And then my hostage. What are you learning? You're learning, learning. Uh, I'm going to have you educator. That's fine. Uh, we could change your contract. Let's get this all sorted. More taxes. Tax for the tax god. Uh, and I need to pardon my wife. <laughs> ah, it's all a mess, isn't it? But it's fine. Right, I think we're back to normal. So we're going to take our fighting armies here. Let's also take our sieging armies in here. Should be fine. As long as they don't join the war. Uh, the battle. Let's put them there actually just in case. My son Zenti has now come of age. They grow up so fast. Let's find him a good old wife. We'll go inheritable trait. Because why not? And then someone who's of age. Sarako here is intelligent. Let's go with this one. Betrothed can marry. Let's send off this. There you go, my daughter. You're now going to be a joint ruler. And make sure you enjoy your time. Maybe tomorrow, in the future we can work together and do some intrigue. Who knows? My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my courtier Telek is scheming against my courtier Alexandra. <laughs> Telek, throw him in jail. <laughs> my wife can get away with it. You can't, unfortunately. We don't have the same ties. Okay, you've accepted my marriage proposal. There's a lot going on, isn't there? It's fine, though. Um, ah, oh, they've bloody won this siege. Okay. Can I still get some battles in here or something? We're going to take back this siege anyway. Uh, should be fine. We're taking attrition for some reason. Oh, because we don't control this. That's right. Uh, we're we're going to catch up to one of them. Telek has died in my dungeon. Adios, my friend. The children are once more at play in the courtyard, and today they are engaged with their toy swords. Epiphania seems relentless with the other children, taking several of them at a time and besting them with ease. Among the usual screams of play, my ears suddenly perk up as she screams, Truth over virtue, scum! Oh no, you did not. Those words are for true Vintalastes only, and Hannah has now come of age. Okay, I'm gonna have to find her a marriage as well. Let's get out of this battle. Hopefully we win this time. And I'm thinking, we go Alliance Power. Who's this? You're very, very strong. Aren't you already a part of Valakia? You are a part of Valakia. Yeah, you're my vassal and champion. What about this fella? He's also a part of Valakia. I mean, this man's much stronger. I don't want him going against me. So let's marry you off. Uh, and then let's go back to the Battle of Pernic. This time we have advantage. Are we going to lose again? Is it because uh, these guys are being countered so heavily? We're just not countering them. How are we countering Bowman? Spoiler, we're not. Are we going to win? I think we're still going to win though. Just about. Okay, we got some allies as well. Oh crap, that was scary for a second, wasn't it? 
Wooden barracks has been constructed in Argies. Uh, we don't have any gold. The army is very expensive when raised now. We lost 1,100, but we killed 1,700. Very nice. Losses are still higher than I would like them to be. Uh, but you can't have everything in life. Two more weeks, and then we're sieged at. Screw that. Uh, two days and we're sieged at. Very nice. Let's move you. You guys shouldn't be sieging. Just go here and defend. Uh, that's enough. Okay, you guys are sieging now. I'm going to siege this one. <laughs> I walked past it. Accolade successor has been found. Do not worry, lads. We have one successor. I think it's here. Zen T, my son. What? Maybe it was Targa Vista? Zen T? No, I can't be doing that. He's, he's not good enough. He only has 11 prowess. I mean, maybe it's the Wavo. Zenti, you're going to have to become the successor for the first sword of Valakia. Please don't die in battle. Uh, if he wants to do it, he's wants to, he stepped for, he's, listen, he's come into my court and he's gone farther. Let me be the first sword of Targovista, of Valakia. I forget which one it was. <laughs> uh, and who am I to deny him? That great honor. I cannot deny him that honor. My grandson can marry. Didn't we already send that off? I think I did. Let's just wait a second on that one. Um, we're going to be ready because they're coming in here. Woken late again, my lord. My wife peeks over my shoulder, glancing at the documents overflowing my desk. I have some experience with these matters, she tentatively says. Perhaps I could help you gain King Artanus's trust. Nah. He's not worth the effort. <laughs> oh no, we don't have a court physician. And I have a new Nasai. Uh, in that case, let's start spraying you. Because I really want that gold. That's a lot of gold we're not getting. Yeah, minus six now. And we also need a physician. Let's go ahead and do this. You're good. Let's assign you to that one. We got something else probably. Aleph, did I not find you a wife? I don't think I did. Inheritable traits. Sort by age. Let's see. Uh, I must have forgotten my son. In fact, I think I did. My granddaughter's very good. Look, robust, quick, and comely. Do you want to marry... Your, uh, what's that to you? Grandson, granddaughter. You're not siblings, though, are you? You're not siblings. You're cousins. Why not? <laughs> oh, no. Now we're, we're, we're finally crossing my final moral boundary, guys. <laughs> It took about nine months, but we're getting there. Greetings, my impressive liege. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Excellent stuff. Um, they can have one... Oh, what is it called? Like, fortified bloodline or something they might be able to do with that? Greetings, my impressive liege. I've discovered that Count Purvis... Okay, more taxes. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put this army here. Uh, we can also go fight times, please. To my vassal, as an influential despot, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of this fact... I hereby offer you the position of the steward of the Byzantine Empire. I mean, thanks. I have one stewardship. I know you guys keep saying, hey, JBD, get a hook on the emperor. Uh, I'm not an intrigue character. Uh, we're not doing that. I mean, I guess we could find secrets. But at the moment, I'm just trying to have a, a best opinion as I can. And I think uh, blackmailing ruins that. I know it's only a little bit, but I want to I wanna risk nothing. I say that and I risk a lot. August, right. Diplomacy plus two plus one martial plus one prestige per bump because if there's one thing we don't have right now, it's prestige. <laughs> 40 days left on the siege. As their despot, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I have more important men to impress, such as the, the Emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Do you know what I'm thinking? Are there any schemes against me? Yeah, there's a murder scheme against me, so we're not going to find secrets right now. Mm, if there wasn't a murder scheme, I might consider it. Enemy ally has joined the war, even though he's incapable. Okay. The incapable prince of fashion. That's got a ring to it, doesn't it? Uh, should we go ahead uh, and stop this siege? I should have done that a little bit sooner. And then this army... I guess go and help them, but it's pretty much done. What do we siege now? I guess we're going to go down to the capital, actually. Right. So now this siege has stopped. We're, we're going to go down here and uh, do some fighting for the capital. Look at that. That's going to take 17 months, though. What I need to do... 
I know we're taking attrition. Let's just sit here so they can't come and stop this siege. How long is that going to take? Five months. Not too shabby uh, at all. Philip. Oh, they're going to go and siege this though. My hostage Epiphania has recently been speaking to me exclusively in Daki and Volga, and she does so with remarkable proficiency. Epiphania tells me that her educators in the clergy, such as my Nasi Vlad, are to thank for her majesty of the courtly tongue. That's nice. That's very nice. There we go. She's trying to learn our language. That's impressive. Uh, you are now offering me position of spy master. Sure. Okay. Oh, the emperor has changed. That's why. Right. <laughs> we need to expose this murder scheme and then I, I'm happy with uh, finding secrets. Let's go ahead and finish this siege. We still haven't won the war, hey? Interesting. I mean, I guess we could just go ahead and siege this. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna siege this though. We should be fine. My daughter-in-law has given birth to a son. We're going to call him Damjan. That's got a ring to it. It's not part of our main lineage, so I'm not going to bother with a special name. I'm a little bit lot scared now. They have a lot of men at arms, right? Yeah, we... we oh, whoa. A lot of men at arms. What if I go down here? And defend here because we control it. We might be able to do that. Prince Ivan has been murdered. Oh, the Lord. How could you do this to Ivan if I've sinned? Why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless. My perfect son. Life had so much in store for him. I've outlived another son. And now my grandson, two years old, is on the throne. Oh, he did not deserve this. How many children have I outlived now? One, two... Three, four, five? I have a lot of children. 16 children. <laughs> Someone's been busy. Uh, that I have. The courtyard is filled with the familiar sounds of running and screaming as the children of court partake in their play. Joshua, no, Zendaya, stop being a bully. We're, we're, we're going to stop that. I'm Joshua. All right, what's going on here? I need to designate, uh, designate a guardian for Vlad. Uh, he's gone intrigue. Right, you're going to educate him. And my grandson... Uh, I need more taxes. Thank you very much. It, it's greatly appreciated. Can we just end this bloody war? I have the war target. But they have some of my lands. That's the problem. Can I replenish here? I can. Oh, very nice. Okay, they're going to take this back. My spy master has come to me with the grave news. It did my rival who is plotting to kill me. Okay, now that scheme has been abandoned. We can maybe try and find secrets over here. What was the success chance on that? 95% chance of learning a secret. That's insane. Um, that's pretty much guaranteed. I need to deal with this army. We need to. I don't know where my allies have gone. Okay, my allies are here. Right. Lads. Please. Uh, I need you to go in first. Can I control that? I don't know. Uh, yes, he is the one going in first. And we do have battle advantage. Nice. My spy master has come to a grave news. It is my guest Adriana that has plotted against my courtier Alexandra. Why is there so much murder going on, lads? Can we stop? We're at war. Look how many pikemen they have. They're destroying my bowmen again? What is this? I mean, we're countering them, though. My bowmen just get absolutely shredded. Uh, I'm not sure what counters them, but they're, they're doing a good job. Enemy combatant countered. Lead Regency has ended. You guys have got married. And there's a dog barking in the background. we got everything going on. Right. Are you good at fighting? No. Nope. Then execute you are. What about you? Nope. I must execute you. What about you? Uh, you are drunkard. And you're... What's that? Maimed. Nothing for that. 16 prowess. Too far away to interact with. But he's in my prison. Can I just ransom you then? I'll ransom you instead, sure. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, 1,000 for 1,900. We traded well, but we still lost a lot of men. Oh, this is a tough war, isn't it? Why am I taking so long? Okay, so if we siege back this. We should be okay. Uh, in fact, I argue we'll be winning because we're just going to get uh, a tick from controlling the war target. There we go. Let's go ahead and enforce the demands. And that lengthy war for one singular county is now over. Bloody hell. To the worthless Joshua, may your humus rot in your living body. 
You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. That was something, wasn't it? Okay, so who's inheriting this anyway? Can I see? I have to go here. Uh, Prince August. Yeah, but you're already capped out. Who else? Uh, you're capped out. Okay. I left my grandson. It's time for you to gain some responsibility. I'm going to give you this land. Oh, no. Uh, I can only see bad things. I don't have a wet nurse. My wife can fill in for that. I can lawfully imprison my wife. Let's grant her another pardon. Uh, Aleph, we, we need to change your contract. Let's go ahead and do this. First Sword of Targa Vista needs a successor. Can I seek one now? I can. Okay, it only has a two-year cooldown. Right. I believe we can unpause. Finally. <laughs> Holy Order's just... Yeah, I could have recruited Holy Order. I think I did, actually. You have finished Find Secret Task. Oh, nice. While performing his duties as my spy master, Count Peter has uncovered a secret held by my rival. Ooh. That's not what I want, though. I'm going to expose it. <laughs> oh, that's going to cause him uh, problems. I'm willing to release from my care, but freedom does not come for free. Yeah, but you haven't told me what I pay ransom. 20 gold. My courtier. Nah, don't really care. He's not even married and he's melancholic. I think it's fine. And I, I don't really care about this lad, I don't think. How is my control looking like? Control is good. Okay, so let's go ahead and train the commanders. To my evil vassal, I fear the education of Adoxius at your court no longer suits our needs. He is hereby recorded to our care. Oh, oh dear. Evil now, am I? Uh, okay, I'm evil. Accolade successor has been found. That's good, but there's a lot of crap happening. You found another secret. Cousin has been taken prisoner. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Oh, you again? Why am I only fighting secrets about you? No idea. Right, first sword of Targovista. Stefan, my champion. Uh, and then Stefan. Just to make sure that you stay there. I need to force you to become my champion. There we go. Uh, then we don't risk it. We're, we're earning a lot of gold now. Right. Another secret. I'm going to expose them all. Exposed them and, and now she's in prison. Was she in prison anyway? She could have been. Oh, the Lord, how could you do this to August? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me? Instead, he was blameless. He died from internal injuries. No. And now my grandson. Oh, he's a ruler at the age of three. What's happening? I, I think I landed them too early. Everything's going to hell. Uh, daughters learned the language, though. It's okay. Everything's uh, better now. Uh, we've recovered nicely. How long until my culture gets this? Six months and then we get warrior priest. Nice. To my vassal, I hope it will not come to this, but I'm left with no option. I must rescind your appointment as spy master. That's fine. I was crap at spy master in a way. Ah, do you know what? That, that's probably why we had such a good success chance. And now it's still 60, 95. Interesting. Um, let's raise your taxes. You should pay the ransom for your grandson. He's third in line. Ah, oh, but they won't accept it. Ah, oh, you asshole. You asshole. What? what why? Can I, I'm, I'm going to raise your taxes. Release my grandson at once. I don't think I can do anything. Oh, grandson's been released. Granddaughter's released. Found another secret. This time, uh, it's Count Peter the Third that has a secret. What was his secret? Is almost certainly eligible. I'll, I'll expose them all. Well, we're exposing everyone's secrets. What I want is a secret on the Emperor, you see. To the charming Joshua, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Donsky claim on the chieftain of Atil. 500 soldiers. But they have allies. No, they don't. How many do you have? You have 600. How far? Do you know what? I will accept this call to war, my ally. I have traveled east, northeast before, and we were the difference. And now we will become the difference again. This should be a very quick war, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.